This morning, we tried to get up early and beat the crowds at Old Faithful. And we beat a lot of people, but there's still a lot of people already here. We may have slept in an extra hour or so, and that might be part of the reason why. Behind me is Old Faithful, and it is one of the geysers in the park that is the most dependable, and so it erupts about every 90 minutes. One of the benches on the front row was available, so here we are. But we don't know how long we're gonna have to wait because we didn't hear when the last eruption was, so we could be here a while. The parking lot has definitely filled up. So now that we've seen Old Faithful erupt, we are going to take a walk around the rest of the Upper Geyser Basin. This is definitely one of the more crowded walks that we've done on this trip. I had no idea Yellowstone had so much activity going on. This is called the spasmodic geyser. And it's quite spasmodic. <laughs> is that a word? It's a spaz. Most of the geysers out here, if you're trying to time your schedule to see them erupt, good luck. It's a lot of luck and just walking up at the right time. Um, probably Old Faithful is the one that you're going to be able to time the best, but there are a few. They kind of have a rough estimate, but we just missed Grand Geyser, which is basically the tallest semi-predictable geyser in the world. So darn, just missed that one. Again, it's all about luck. We also just missed Giant Geyser by about four months. The last time it erupted was March 10th. Something I wonder, are we in the splash zone? We were able to time it so we could see the daisy geyser go off, which shoots up up to 75 feet and it shoots at an angle, which was really interesting.
the moral of our time here, enjoy Old Faithful, because you can almost guarantee you'll see it. And if you're lucky enough to see some of the other ones, enjoy them. It gets busier and busier here as the day goes on. But if you're able to time your visit right, you might get to watch Old Faithful twice, once as you get here and once as it's time to leave. So our half day here in the Upper Geyser Basin is finished and it was a great way to spend the morning. Now my recommendation to you is to get here as early as you can, within reason, so that you can be here for one of the first few eruptions, probably by nine o'clock or so. Uh, the parking lot has definitely filled up now that it's lunchtime and there are a lot more people and there were a lot more people at Old Faithful the second time that we watched it erupt. I should have brought snacks. So my tip to you is to just carry some snacks with you so that you're not clear out far off into the basin, hungry. <laughs>